In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this basket weave noodle cup cozy, and you'll need some cotton yarn and a four millimeter crochet hook. For round one, you're going to start with a magic circle. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, bring up your loop, chain one to secure, and then do six single crochet into that magic circle. There's three, four, five, six, and now you'll grab the tail, give it a pull, place your stitch marker, and at this point you should have six stitches. For round two, we're going to do one increase in each stitch. And so for your increase, you'll go into the stitch, bring up a loop and do one single crochet, go back into that same stitch and do a second single crochet. That is your increase. And now you're going to increase in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. For round three, your repeating sequence will be one single crochet followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 18 stitches. For round four, our repeating sequence will be two single crochet followed by one increase and you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 24 stitches. For round five, our repeating sequence will be three single crochet followed by one increase. Here's one, two, three, increase and you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one increase, and at the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. For round six, our repeating sequence will be four single crochet followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, four, increase. And you'll continue to repeat four single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 36 stitches. For round seven, we're going to do one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of this round, you should still have 36 stitches. For rounds eight and nine, you're not going to need your stitch marker for a few rounds, so you can take that out. And we're going to begin doing our front and back post half double crochets to create that basket weave pattern. And so you'll start rounds eight and nine by doing a front post slip stitch. So you're going to go under the post just like that. Do a slip stitch and then chain two. One, two. Now you'll do two front post half double crochets. So there's one, two. And now you're going to be doing your front and back post in groups of three. So now we're going to, we just did front post, so now we'll do back post half double crochet. So coming in from behind, going over the post and then back through to the back of the work. Grab your yarn, pull it through and finish your half double crochet. So there's one, 
two, three. Next, you'll do your front post half double crochets. So yarn over, you're gonna come in through the front and go under the post and do your half double crochet. And so that's your front post half double crochet. So there's two and three. And now you'll continue to alternate your three back post half double crochet followed by three front post half double crochet, continuing to do that. And at the end of round nine, you should still have 36 stitches. For rounds 10 and 11, you'll begin each round with a back post slip stitch, followed by a chain two. Next, you'll do two back post half double crochet. So there's one, two, and now you'll start doing your groups of three. So next will be three front post half double crochet. So one, two, three, and then you'll do your back post, and then your front post, and then your back post, keeping them in groups of three. And when you reach the end of round 11, you should still have 36 stitches. For rounds 12 through 17, you're going to repeat what you did in rounds eight through 11. And this is what it will look like once you've reached the end of round 17. And you should still have 36 stitches. For rounds 18 and 19, we're gonna place our stitch marker and then we're just going to do one half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. So just one half double crochet in each stitch for rounds 18 and 19. And when you reach the end of round 19, you should still have 36 stitches. For round 20, we're just going to do one slip stitch into each stitch all the way around. And when you get to the end of this round, you should still have 36 stitches. And here I am at the end of this round. And now we'll just remove the stitch marker and slip stitch into the next stitch and tie off. And then you'll cut your yarn and weave in your ends and your noodle cup cozy should just slide right on there onto your noodle cup and there you go it's all finished <laughs>